about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action How's it going? It's Farmer Nick here. Welcome back to another video on the American Map, Episode 10. What we're going to do today is we're going to be testing out this John Deere 60... What is this? 1, 35M with this Selford, uh, what is this, 4 shank mold board or rollover plow. We're going to be rollover or mobile plowing these three fields all together. That way they're all combined into one. So we're going to get cracking on this. It's going to take us a bit, but I thought this would be the, this is like the perfect, my perfect, my favorite plow just because it's got the, the wheel in the end. So it's pretty nice. Let's get get at it. It's more of American. I wish they had more of these in 17, but they didn't. So, I already did a swipe, make sure it already would work. I already have the uh, patch installed here, but I just haven't got it. I'm not really familiar, familiar with it yet, so... For next video, I should have that thing all, like, figured out. I'm going to mess around with it, get used to it. I'm going to edit the, the heck out of this map, make it all one get rid of a lot of the weeds over here take some of this field and put it into maybe a shed get rid of a few I keep forgetting that we're uh, using the create a field type on here it's alright this is like literally one of my favorite this is probably like my second favorite John Deere tractor in FS19 right now just because of, I don't know how I don't know why it's so good, just because of the flashers and the extended flashers and stuff. It's just so really American looked, and it's really realistic. We got the wheel weight on her, you know. I just like it, really good. Let me know if this you guys like this tractor. We're gonna put a round corner here, just for the sake of it. This is probably where we're just gonna mostly work on these strips back here. And then, if we get over there, we'll get over there. But it's going to take a while, especially only with a four bottom plow. But hey, we're kind of a small farm, kind of a big farm. We did end up buying the 8370R with that uh, subsoiler package. We bought both of them. They're still sitting up at the they're sitting up at the wheat field right now, or the barley field, sorry. So there, those two pieces of equipment are sitting up there. That's where the gator was. So I brought the gator home and I left those two sitting up there where we got them at first yesterday. So that's what I've been up to. But now we're just going to go plowing. We could go end up buying or renting a bigger... Uh, we're not going to come much farther because that needs to be smoothed out. And I will mess around with that with the patch. The only people that can get the patch is the farming simulator people that have it on the PC. So I will throw a link in the description here to this beta update thing for you guys. That way you guys can get it if you really want it. Um, there's lots of videos out on it, how to use it. I could probably make one of these videos, how to use it too, if you guys really, really need me to do one. I can do that. We're just going to find a row of weeds and we're going to follow them up for right now. It's going to be the quickest and easiest. So how many hours do you guys got in this game? I'm just curious. How many hours do you guys have in this game for the PC people? I think I'm sitting right around 1, 200 uh, ish, but I can't really tell. I'm just kind of estimating just by the hours I've played this game <clears throat> let me know what, how many let's see who has the most hours in this game honestly I'm curious who even has the most hours I'll tell you the truth I wonder what is the top hours in farming simulator 19 already I bet there's guy got probably close to four or five hundred honestly I guarantee you do you guys think so just because people are probably so dedicated to this game. I can see it honestly happening.
looks like the discs are barely just touching there. Well, this is what I call plowing. There's a guy up the road here today, uh, he had, uh, what, I think it was like a six bottom plow on, uh, 74.50? Or no, 47.50? My bad. Yeah, he's pulling like a five bottom plow in the field up there. He was going pretty deep, so. I don't know, they, uh, looks like they did, probably maybe they did like five acres and then they figured out maybe that it was a good idea to go put the duels on. Or put, they put the, I think it was the left duel they put on. They went ahead and put the left duel on. That's what you usually typically do is you always put the left duel on when you mow bear plowing. Just because your uh, right duel always sticks down in the fur. You guys will have to look up real mulber plowing or real plowing videos because you will see how it will make a deep fur at the back. That's what that gauge wheel back there for. But you guys will just have to look up some real mulber plowing. Um, I don't think we're planning on getting a mulber plow or renting one in a, for in the next little bit. Uh, we did rent one three years ago to mulber plow a field that was heavy clay that was a while ago just because we did but right now since we got that ripper that's all we've been using lately mostly just that lovely ripper what's going on here I don't know what was up there we're just a boating her at six mile an hour, seven mile an hour Let me know if my game sound and stuff needs to be turned up. Let me know. Just drop a comment saying, let me know if everything's good. Um, anything else I need to change with my settings. Uh, game volume. Mic needs to be louder. Let me know. You know, if you guys are finding it too quiet, I can adjust them. Try not to miss any. I missed that a little bit that way because we straightened it all out so it's nice and straight. That way we don't have that little bit of a miss all the way across and then we have to follow that all the way across. I like to keep it, try and get straighter as we go. Just because we're not dealing with the crook in the field. Hey, get over there. We don't really don't need to put duels on because the duels be wider than the whole plow. Yeah, we've had this self herd plow for a while. <laughs> it's just you guys haven't seen it. I've been hiding it over at our hayfield. So I don't know how many episodes I've actually had this plow. I've had it for a while because I did a mission one of these days. I did a mission not too long ago. Uh, I forget what I was doing. but Yeah, I think we're going to do like we're going to go lease a whole bunch of equipment and we're just going to go do missions for a day. I feel like that's going to be a nice fun to do. Uh, we're also going to do some sugar king. We're going to plant some sugar king this time because I know a few of you guys wanted some sugar king. Or I thought I seen it somewhere. Also, I do want to try the sugar cane equipment out. I've done cotton. And we mostly done everything else. So now it's time to do some sugar cane. Well, I guess I never did cotton on here, but we could do a mission on that. Tree. Gotta get rid of some of these trees too. Darn trees are always in the way.
basically just kind of running that uh, tire right along the edge of that plow mark and we'll be all good. It's really hard to estimate where your uh, tire is. That's why I like the duels, you can see how farther you can guess where you're going to go. Or, But if these weeds were in here, it would be a lot easier to pick a cornrow and do a lot of aim cab, but I can't really do that because of the weeds, and there's no point of us spraying them because it's just really a waste of herbicide. Even though we got lots of money, I gotta. I don't want to try and take it away because last time, I'm going to try and mess with that stuff, but last time I did that in 17, I'd always screw up the save game and I'd have to start all over or pull the save game back and it wouldn't work. So I'm going to try it 19 just because 19 is different. So we'll see how things go. We officially have everything done. There may be a washing video coming up, as I've said in the previous videos. And a farm tour here, probably right around Christmas time. So, we'll be all good. I'm also going to have a video coming up. I might go up before this one or after. Um, there's an old uh, plowing, helping the neighbor out. Dad and I are front roading with Dad for a bit. Get some footage of the other tractor ripper. Just because I have my cell phone, so... I was going to try and record it with one hand, but it wasn't going to go... It didn't go too well. I tried it before, so I just got... I waited till uh, Dad came back and started riding with me when we got... Uh, when they got all the trucks and stuff moved around helping the neighbors so he came back roading with me later the night and I told him he could drive for a bit and I'm gonna make a video so that's what happened so you guys can basically that video was recorded back before the corn came off so I really do apologize that I never got it up it's been on my phone and I was just happened to flip through all my pictures the other day and I saw that video I was, was like darn it I should have got that video up a long time ago to you guys but I do apologize it should be coming up this week sometime too so we'll have to see how things go, what day I get it up. We'll go from there. It's just the snow sucks. But it's just going to be, we're going to hopefully find a warm day and we're going to get washing equipment. So there's probably a good day, a full, what, 12 hours worth of washing equipment? Maybe I'm a little over in there, but I don't think so. Tractor and Ripper, I know it takes a full... If you start right at 8 o'clock and it takes all the way to noon. And it takes a good, what? 1,100 gallons of water? <laughs> the way I like to wash equipment, make them all shine. We just give them a good spray down, rinse them off, you know, get the mud off and all that stuff. That way they're clean. And then in the summertime, usually when we're done with spraying tillage and everything, then we give them a real bath with soap. You know, just give them a nice clean until they're used in the fall again. So, that's basically how we wash stuff unless it's just sitting around. It gets a little... usually gets a, the odd bath in the rain. Because, you know, it rains, but 95% of the time that tractor's inside. Unless it's fall or spring. It's either at a field or something. But usually it's drove in a shed or drove in the cover all. Hoop house, whatever you guys like calling them. I wish they had a bigger plow like this, like a six bottom plow. Or a six for plow just like this. Be nice. I'm not sure what we're going to put around here. We're probably going to end up putting some beans or something around the main yard. All beans or all corn or something. Let me know what you guys think we should put around here. Obviously, I'm going to record back to back. So, I'm just going to have to kind of wing it this time. I do apologize, guys. But it's just my internet is slower than what a lot of you guys have. I don't have really fast internet. So, I can't be like the squad. 
I know I want it to be like that one of these days when I get faster internet I might be able to do it like record the next night and have it up in the morning and ready for you guys by tomorrow night but no it it just doesn't work that way especially with school and you know working on the farm you know you got a lot of responsibilities to do and homework there's another thing so I'm I'm working the best I can this is how I'm doing it it's easiest I record a whole bunch of videos when I get a chance, mostly it's on Saturday and Sunday, because now we got nothing else to do, so that's all I do. And then during the week when I get time, I just record videos and add on there. And the odd time, help people out, work on my dedicated server that I have on my channel, and work on my channel a bit, you know. That's basically how my week turns out. <clears throat> and help the neighbor out. Usually, too. That's another quite a bit of work I do. Help him out, usually plowing and pick the carrots, you know? Like, what do you guys all want to see on the farm? Let me know. Like, do you guys want me to do a chore video? We can do some chores and stuff. Or do you guys want to see, like, what I do, I get up in the morning, do you guys want to see one of those videos? Maybe I show you what I do all day. Like, I'll even maybe show you a bit of me playing farm sim. <laughs> you guys want something like that, a daily routine video? There's another option I could do. We'll have to come back and straighten that back headline off when we're done. It's no biggie. Drive up on the bush, it won't hurt it. This tractor has 1.6 hours out of already. So that's decent. You know how much this I love this tractor now. I'm just going to keep writing the hours on it. Up, oh, uh, we got three quarters of a tank of fuel we've already burned here. I am three quarters of a tank. Like we've burned a bar of fuel. Is this how fast we can pull this baby? Yeah. We're really giving her. Oh, also, you guys can see the time is 10.58, and you also can see the 22, 10, you guys can see the clock. So right by the clock it says 10.58. I got it on real 24 hour time, or like a normal clock you would see, not military time. So I got it back on, there's a mod in the main mod hub. It's called Realistic Real, Realism Time or something. I don't know if you console guys can get it, but I know it's on the PC, so you guys will have to check it out. When you guys get a chance, if you guys are interested in that. Uh, what else do I got in here? Like, that's the only other mod I got in here. And then I also have the bushels and all that stuff. It'll show you 100%. Uh, I don't know if I have anything that we can show, honestly. No, we don't. 
unfortunately, right now. But when we get into harvesting and planting and stuff, you guys can see what I mean. I'm gonna try and straighten this out. There might be a part two to this, I'm not quite sure, I'll just to see how much longer it's going to take, but it might not be, honestly. We might be planting <clears throat> probably Sugar King next time. So just look forward to some Sugar King videos. They should be coming up soon. Should basically have this guy straightened out now. There we go. Come back here and grab this a little bit. We didn't get the turn right. There we go. We didn't even need that road, right? Because we put the shop in the way, so it's not even worth us messing around with that stuff. That's why I place that down. Probably going to end up getting rid of that little red shed that we store all the equipment in and putting a big one up in here. Just because that shed is starting to get crammed in the size of the equipment we're starting to get and the more equipment. And I'm afraid that everything is not going to fit under the shed. Especially when we get the Sugar King Planner and all that stuff, it's not gonna, it's easier to probably just get a new shed. Bigger. You know, that way, everything can kind of sit in one instead of different and multiple, and they're all stuffed right full and crammed, and you can hardly, like, you'll have to dig the whole shed out to get something, but yeah, that's kind of realistic, but at the same time, there's the big shed option, and we're not no short of money, we're millionaires right now, so why don't we? Right? 
We could expand out some more acres if you guys really want us to. And we'll go from there, so let me know if you guys want that, and we'll I'll see what I can do. So I'm just going to get working away at this guy, and um, I'll get the rest of this plow here up, and work on editing the farm up here maybe, and we'll see how things go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and don't forget to check all our other videos out. Uh, don't forget to go and check out some real life farm videos if you guys are interested in that stuff. If you're new to the channel, we did some real life videos back in October and a bit ago, a while ago. So there'll be some more coming up too, a few more, and there'll be a clip tutorial coming up here probably around Christmas time. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I appreciate you guys. See you later.